Andrea here and I'm coming to you guys with another video. So here I am on day 10 of the challenge. I didn't write anything on my board because there's really nothing to write there yet. I'll probably take a picture of it or something some other time. I'm just not even in the mood. I had eight hours of sleep last night. I gotta tell you guys, I woke up feeling like poo, you know. I don't like waking up at 11 something at night and just having to rush to get to work because I should be working from about 8 o'clock at night. Here it is. It's Saturday. I finally got to sleep. It was just after 2 p.m. I say around 2.15. It was 10.25 when I woke up and I just like, ugh, I don't feel like it. I don't really want to work. I just want to go back to sleep. It's all the previous days leading up to that I didn't sleep that has me just completely out of it. I haven't eaten anything yet, so I haven't yet broken my fast. Uh, I will go into what I did eat, though, because again, this morning, um, before I even went to bed again, which is bad. I don't like to eat and then go to bed, but I found myself in the kitchen and uh, hubby was cooking some stuff and then I was just grazing. So I didn't want to eat eggs and bacon, which probably would have been much more better for me, but it was my mother's birthday. Um, we bought her cheesecake. She's 130 something pounds. She can eat cheesecake. Me, I'm on this challenge. I shouldn't be eating cheesecake, but I ate cheesecake. So I paid for it up one pound, as you saw on the scale. Am I going to call it water weight? No, it's cheesecake weight. I hate cheesecake. I don't know where the weight came from. I just know it's on my butt and it don't need to be there. And I've said that before in a few of my other videos, but what are you going to do? I'm trying to get these videos out to you a lot quicker and I feel like a failure in just all around. One, eating dairy. Two, the fact that, you know, I'm trying to get these videos out to you earlier and in doing so I'm just getting them out later and I'm not sleeping properly and, you know, all this other stuff. I'm stressed out. I'm pretty sure this challenge was not meant to stress me out. I just wanted to do it like I'm extra. What can I say? I wanted to do a really good job at it. Also, it's helping me to come on here and do these videos for you guys, which is something that I also fail at often, as you know. If you've been with me for a while, you know sometimes I, I'm, I'm there daily uploading and then I'll go through a period of no uploads whatsoever and or one here and there. And you know what? I'm tired of it. I do this for nothing. It doesn't, I don't make any money at it. Um, YouTube is not, um, they don't find me a feasible creator enough to monetize my videos. So my videos are not monetized. I apologize if you, like me, are seeing a lot of commercials and whatnot, a lot more ads and things while you're watching videos. It's, it happens with everybody I watched. I don't know if I become a premium YouTube subscriber if those ads will stop. But in the meanwhile, they're there and they're quite annoying to me sometimes. So I can imagine that they would be for you as well. I do like some of the ads. I learn a lot of things from ads. I get a lot of information about new products and things that are out because of these ads. That's what they're for. They're there to help entice the viewer to click on them. Uh, if you click on them, I don't get anything for it. YouTube probably does. Obviously, the people that are paying for the advertising space through YouTube to have that ad shown, they probably do. But I don't get anything for that. But there are some links that I have included in the last several videos that I've made for y'all that are down in the description. They are Amazon links. And I might get a little something if you purchase something. However, it's not going to cost you any more um, just clicking through those links in order to go and make your purchases. It really helps support my channel. Another way you could support my channel is to give this video a thumbs up, please. And hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so. And be sure to ring the bell. All of that helps in the algorithms. And so tonight would definitely be one of those nights of rambling due to the fact that I... I'm kind of hungry, but because of the pound gain and what I know that I did just, you know, eight and a half hours previously, well, a little more than that now because now it's actually almost 12.30. So, so I could literally say like a little more than 10 hours ago is when I had that cheesecake, so I have been fasting. 
but I'm going to try to see if I can take it just a little bit more because I need to work anyways and I need to get these videos out to you guys and there's so many things that need to be done in order, in order for me to be able to try and do them and one of the biggest issues I'm having right now and it's really weighing heavy on my head and stressing me out is my computer sucks. I've been trying to clean out files and stuff that I don't need from it. It needs an overhaul or a, I don't know some PCU enema because it's so slow. It's not just a matter of okay my internet sucks. Now it's a matter of my computer and my internet sucks. And I have to work and make a living and take care of hubby who's now out of the hospital but nonetheless still needs some things done for him that he cannot do for himself and or things that I have to do now that he would do for me but he can't do or I don't want him to do. Okay beautiful people so I'm coming back to continue this video since I actually got so hungry that I just went and I ate so broke my fast at 12.38 this morning, tonight, whatever, I'm a night person, those who don't know. Um, I ate dinner last night at 1 o'clock in the morning, however, at 1.45 this afternoon, it being my mom's birthday and everything, and, you know, I wanted to celebrate it while it was her birthday and not sometime the next day when I might have woken up. I didn't know what time I was going to wake up. So I actually ended up fasting 10 hours and 53 minutes, if you include that, and you have to include that because that's what happened. So today's the 10th day, July 10th. I ate, when I ate at 1.45, I had cheesecake. I actually had two pieces of cheesecake. I had two cheese sticks, and then I had two slices of salami and two slices of chicken breast, the sliced chicken breast, because I took the salami and the chicken breast and I wrapped it up over the cheese stick and I ate two of those. And then just now when I broke this fast, 10 hours and 53 minutes later, almost 11 hours, I ate half of somebody's hamburger. There was like a whole burger there and a half a burger and then like I took a picture of it and I just wasn't feeling the whole burger thing. It had been sitting there in the pan, covered but cold and I and normally it doesn't matter. Meat is meat to me. I eat it. I try not to get too picky with food. I eat to survive, not for the pleasure of eating and as long as I keep that mentality, it helps me big time. Um, but sometimes it doesn't always help me to, and I don't always think that way. I say the heck with it, F it, and I eat whatever I want to eat. So I did have two slices of this cheesecake. It's one of those cheesecake variety wheels that you can get at either like GFS or like in our case we got it at Aldi's. Early for birthday, I make cheesecake. So somehow or another my husband thought, okay, cheesecake, I'll buy cheesecake she won't have to make it and they do have little slices they sell these dual you get like two slices in a pack I usually buy those at Aldi's but maybe they didn't have any so for whatever reason he got the big wheel so now there's cheesecake in there and yeah I was looking at it but I ain't doing it it's not worth that one pound that one pound that I gained after eating all of this I'm lucky number one number two I probably was gonna lose like two or three pounds because I did get a full eight hour sleep um, but that definitely hindered it. The fact that I only gained one pound after eating all this, you'll see, Whew, did I get lucky? But, and then I had, um, like about a half a cup of sauerkraut that I've been also indulging in at night, which is not carnivore. Uh, so don't come at me and saying, Drea, that's not carnivore. Yeah, Drea knows it's not carnivore. I also had two slices of bacon that was left in the pan, um, cold. And I then cooked in like a tablespoon of butter, I had three eggs that I just turned over light, popped one of my yolks. I hate when that happens. Uh, and then I'm just having what I'm sipping on now, the one tea, and I'm probably not going to have any more than that. If I do get thirsty, I am going to force myself to drink water just so I don't do any more damage than I've already done. It Tomorrow will be a new day. It is the weekend. I know, I think I'm getting the symptoms of ant flow or shark week for some of those who understand that better. Um, I sometimes don't get it, but I get all the symptoms from it. And I've been definitely feeling moody 
And I think this not sleeping thing, that usually happens when I'm about to get it. Uh, I always call it vampirism. And so, yeah, that's been going on. But total points for today, I put too many because it's just off the charts too many. I, I To sit here right now and go over each one of those items and look at the um, ingredients, I'm not even going to bother. I know I went over 20. I probably went over 40. I probably went over 60. Don't do what I do. Do what I say, not as I do. Sleep, eight hours and 10 minutes sleep. I gained that pound from yesterday's weight. I am only at a total of three pounds now down during this challenge. Something is better than nothing, but that's no excuse. That's no excuse. I'm just all over the place. I would continually be all over the place if I continue this video, but I'm not gonna continue this video. I'm gonna end it for y'all pretty quick and easy. That maybe will give me enough time to get it edited and then it'll take a lot less time. I'm hoping to export it so then I can upload it. All of that stuff, it takes time. It, I love you guys. And if I didn't, I don't think I would be here to continually do this. Uh, there's so many other things that I probably could share and make a channel to do, but I chose this weight loss journey. And I know for me that this channel is the best tool that I could have ever had for myself on any uh, weight loss type lifestyle that I've been on. And also, without me doing these videos, I don't stay accountable and I fall even further off that wagon that I really want to be on because there is an inevitable point at the end of this journey that I want to get to. There are goals that I want to meet. And if I don't stay on track and I lose sight of that prize that I need to keep my eye on, then I just, I'm in a slippery slope and a lot of trouble. So I don't want to be there. I want to continue to do what I need to do for me. But if I can help even one person along on my journey, then that makes me even more so happier that I'm not just doing it for me, but I am doing it for me. I'm going to shut up now. With that said, be happy, be healthy, be beautiful, but just be you, be the boss of your loss of your own weight loss journey. And I'll definitely be seeing each and every one of you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Be blessed. Mwah. Hey guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't already subscribed, please click the subscribe button down below and be sure to ring the bell so you can be notified of all new videos as I put them out to you, as well as if I go live.